The Gifted and Talented Academy in the Phoenix Union High School District is one of the newest and most innovative schools in our portfolio, now up to 20 schools here in Phoenix Union. And what I think is so special about the Gifted and Talented Academy is it is a place for the best and the brightest. So many young men and young women here in the Valley are gifted and talented but don't have a program, or in this case a school, that is designed to meet the unique needs of gifted and talented young men and young women. Gifted and Talented Academy is a place where we can nurture high potential kids. It's fun and uh, challenging at the same time and you're learning all new things every day and you're making friends that are going to stick with you. It's pretty challenging to be around people who are like you, but it's really fun because then you get to, it allows you to push yourself forward. It allows you to push harder and to get your, to just do your best. Basically we get everything early, like do everything faster, basically. But it's really fun. It's just a smaller classes, but we still get to join, we still have time to join clubs and sports team, but um, everything is just faster. By the end of four years, we're already going to have some college credits because in two years we're going to be done with high school, but we're going to be staying here to do more for our college credits. So most of the courses they take within the academy and for some electives they go uh, in the comprehensive campus of Maryville and based on their interest they choose those electives as well as uh, sports of their choice and clubs which are available there. I'm doing guitar, some other people are doing drama, some people are doing choir. It depends on what you want to do. The elective is your time, like there's PE or art. So we are bringing the best of two worlds, uh, the feel of small school as well as the opportunities of a comprehensive campus. Um, well, the students here treat me like any other student. They, I have my cheer friends, I have regular friends that are not in the gifted and talented program. Like, you're just a normal person here. I have three daughters that are actually identified as gifted that are still in the elementary level. Um, one of the things that I look for when I'm thinking about the choice that we have for high schools um, is personalization and like individualized education. So that's one of the things that we offer our students here. Uh, we have the acceleration, so they're in classes that are challenging and they can um, also personalize some of the pieces to it because we have kids that come in with all different backgrounds and all different histories. This first semester has been going really good so far. I mean, it's a, it is accelerated classes, so it might be a little bit hard, but you just have to get your work done and you'll be good. So it's been going really good. Last, last week, I got, a, got my progress report back and I got straight A's. I was, my, my parents were very, very proud of me. Our teachers do have a high expectation of us. Dr. Singh, she's expecting us to get at least like a 92% on our biology test this year. They're really doing well. We, uh, we saw like our first semester um, result and they were like, uh, we were like pretty amazed like uh, after taking all three uh, science courses plus math whether it is music, arts, Spanish class, whatever electives they are taking, they are doing amazing things in there. We are really proud of our kids. So all of our students have technology available to them every day. We do a lot of our lessons online. They're not only getting academic support on the computers, but also they have trainings. So they're able to collaborate with each other um, in different classrooms and work on the same presentation. So I think that's a huge component. For 21st century learners, we want to make sure that they have those skills that they need, that they'll be using in the job. Our focus is more about enhancing the child's gift and talent, which they already have, to become a better version of themselves and to believe that they could be the agent of change in this local and global community. When I grow up, I want to be a, a fashion designer, a clothes designer. I want to own my own business. My name is Alyssa Rian Reynolds, and I'm going to be a CIA agent. My name is Samantha Garcia, and I'm going to become a lawyer when I'm older. Uh, when I grow up, I want to become an FBI agent. And also, I want to try to change the world. <laughs>